Example 1. Determine the maturity value and interest cost for a loan of $7,000 due in two and a half years at 9% compounded monthly. First of all, let's take a look at the information that we have. We have a timeline here. Let's start by taking a look at that timeline. We have a two and a half year period, so let's label it two and one half years. We've invested uh, or taken out a loan of $7,000, so that would be the present value. So $7,000 is the present value of our uh, loan, and it's due in two and a half years at 9% compounded monthly. So we've got an interest rate of 9% compounded monthly. And so what that means is that the nominal interest rate of 9% needs to be divided by 12 because there are 12 periods per year. And so from that, we could say that the interest rate is 9% divided by 12 per month, or the interest rate is 0 0.0075 per month. Further to that, what we can do is, is determine that if we start off with a present value at zero and in two and a half years, we know that we need to count the number of months. And so in this particular case, two and a half years, there's 12 months per year. So we've got a total of 30 monthly interest periods, two and a half times 12. So we've got 30 months. And so referring to our formula for compound interest for the maturity value, we don't know what the maturity value is, but we know that the maturity value is simply the present value compounded or uh, increased by one plus i to the exponent positive n. So we have pres present value multiplied by the compound interest factor, one plus i to the power of n. The principal or the present value is $7,000 and we're going to increase that or inflate that by 1.0075, one plus the interest rate per month raised for a total of 30 months. And that works out to a maturity value of $8,758.90. Now, if the maturity value is $8,758.90, that means that our interest is simply the difference between the maturity value and the present value, so that would be S minus P. The interest then is equal to the maturity value of $8,758.90 less the $7,000. And that gives us the interest costs on that loan of $17.58.90. So now we know what the maturity value is and we know what the interest costs are for this particular loan.